Imagine driving to work. You look over and a man is pointing a gun at you. That's what a St. Louis woman says happened to her last week on Interstate 70. Our Ryan Henson talked with her and police about ways people can stay safe on the roads. He's live near the intersection of Lucas and Hunt and Interstate 70. Ryan. Okay, this is the exit that the woman got off of last week when that man was pointing the gun at her. And she did the exact thing SLMPD says to all road rage victims, create space and then get somewhere safe. So that's what she did. Allison Bumgarner says she's hoping that this is an eye opener for folks to be more respectful on the roads. Allison Gartner's morning commute takes her up Interstate 70 through the heart of St. Louis. And a semi was like merging on, so I had to hurry up and get to the left lane. I had to cut off this minivan and I mean, he was upset and I was like, well, sorry. Gartner says now the man was behind her, waving his arms, clearly upset. I got back over um, to the right lane and he gave me his his middle finger. Um, so I was like, sorry again. Now that the driver expressed his feelings, Gartner thought it was over until she looked back at him as they rolled down the highway. As I was getting over, I looked over and he had the gun like pointed at me like this with the window down and just like followed me. I was more upset than scared. St. Louis Metro Police says if you ever feel unsafe in a road rage incident, slow down, let the aggressor continue ahead. If needed, Get off at the next exit on the highway or turn down an intersection going the opposite direction of the aggressor if you're on the road. Gartner's thinking about getting a firearm. I wouldn't feel comfortable pulling it out in an incident like that, but to know that I actually have something, I don't know, just in case. Most importantly, she wants people to have more respect for each other on the roadways. Gardner says she plans on filing a police report. SLMPD reminds folks, if you're in a road rage situation, get somewhere safe and call 911 if needed. I'm Brian Henson, 5 on your side.